Welcome. Painting with Buzz. Yes. This is fully charged. A lot of things happening, like getting off toxic. So, anyway, meantime, I've got to make a living. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Somehow, I've got to give up being a wage slave so I can spend life like this. Sitting around. Having coffee. Going to coffee shops. Hey, does it mean you're going to retire and be like one of those old people and wait for your little badge on the bench? What badge on the bench? You know when they say he loved sitting out here looking at the view with his coffee. Can I do something like that for you, Daddy? Thanks, Grippy. No, I wasn't actually thinking about that. I was thinking about putting more time into saving the planet, actually. So anyway, yeah, paintings. I've got to try and sell them. I went to go and see uh, Matthew Blakeston and Jan, his, his wife, was there. She paints. She has actually really good paintings, actually. But she doesn't have to sell them, which is quite handy. I've actually gone and sell them. So anyway, I'm working. Now, my father was quite a well-known artist. Well, he was an artisan, actually, to be precise. <clears throat> Herited a small fortune, spent his life partying and getting pissed and uh, painting. Well, he had choices, didn't he? Anyhow, this is one of his favourite ones. I actually managed to get it as well, which was quite staggering. Always like, I can remember him doing it 50 years ago. 1990 and I'm doing this and it's 2020 he also did sort of black ones and white ones so watercolour and to be fair this to me represents most probably one of the most finest simple watercolours but with detail um, it's got like harvester written there and just the way the brush strokes work and the way he put the water down and in time it's actually improved it's sort of gone a sort of browner colour. So I'm not going to ever sell that one, hopefully not, unless the things get really desperate. And But I've got to promote my art. And so I've got to put some up in the Cross Hotel, which is nice for Matthew, and I've got like a little gallery offering in Fishguard, so I'm going to take them up on that. So painting. Yeah, meanwhile, it's all about detail, really. Funnily enough, that's something else about painting. It's detail. So you... You get a brush and you go like that. Actually, you wash it. You get it under the tap and you actually wash it and then come back. Then you get the watercolour and then you have finish it with detail, which is, I do, either with a pen knife. My father taught me this trick, so you, you actually score it a little bit and then just paint it. And the, and the paint gets sort of attracted to it. So you use a pen knife. Big pens, really handy. And I used to do some watercolour painting classes actually now oh and these i use this my father because he was right-handed and i'm left-handed which is a bit bit weird actually using a dipping pen is quite tricky for me because the nib sort of like well goes against it goes, i've got a dipping pen but i have got one but i'm not going to demonstrate that so i use one of these sort of second best and these are really handy as well I did the signature with one of those acrylic yeah so technology and yeah met a guy about biofabrication so the other time so i've got to try and sell some paintings and do the house up just done all the washing up my love and do the house up and yeah just generally so buzzing off toxic and setting up a company so we've got an island we've got to have fun and music we don't have to have fun you know i don't think we should force that on people but I should suggest as we're wrecking the planet we have a bit of a party and have a bit of a music and implement the right technology uh, a revolution so I would say I've just been watching I think I put on my Facebook page uh, bio fabrication revolution I have to say I'm also very interested in graphene chemistry uh, reverse chemistry and bacteria and algae production so I was having a long chat with a guy, Charles, hopefully to work with him, from Africa, big beard. And, uh, yeah, the idea is he's a chef. So the idea is hopefully we'll be working with him in the near future, possibly on doing a Pembrokeshire nature, uh, ocean reserve. So the whole of Pembrokeshire reserve. I think there is one down at Skoma Island in Stockholm. So that's what Buzz Off Toxic is up to. Are you doing anything else today? Yes, I'm going to um, strangle 
Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, God. Of course, we're not violent. I say, boys and girls, I say, what a load of gobble wobble wobbly. Yes, it's all about fracking and gas, and let's go and have an enemy. We could do it that way, couldn't we? But haven't we sort of done that? Anyway, love you. Bye. <laughs>